we will see our beginning components almost lower back to 13. Really, we are not wandering into the realness of these speculations these days for the most outrageous part, since the inestimable close by nearby has as of now perceived that our course of action of focuses on this universe kicks off the colossal impact. The psyche that succeeded the colossal blast is other than established on a comparable ordinary indication of this first experience with the field, with the special case of if you're a geek who has gone through hours looking at changed stunning impressions of the immense bang. To be fair, the event transformed into an excess of an effect in a way of talking, fundamentally putting the huge explosion as its spot to begin in a single component, a point that was ad infinim hot and thick, likewise improved to beyond absurd lengths. All of this passed off while the universe was unbelievably energetic. Believe it or not, at the hour of the expansive blast, the universe was really 10 to the fourth power of 34 seconds old. That is one centesimal of a billionth of a trillionth of a second in age. This is where the universe experienced a staggering impact of progress, in any case, suggested as the unbelievable effect or the advancement during this procedure. Space widened faster than the speed of light. Our universe changed into being stacked with every particle we found out about in our science class. Protons, neutrons, electrons, anti-electrons, photons, and neutrinos. The presence of the tremendous blast is extraordinary. While it shows up metaphorically, the way that we interpret the universe's presentation is astoundingly hypothetical. We've made critical advancements since the first moon landing, and from that point forward, our mechanical progress has progressed firmly. At the moment that experts were zeroing in on the colossal blast, it relied upon numerical recipes and reasonable plans. They would never have possibly evaluated that we would inspect the imperil of life on Mars. There have been significant pushes in our interest to break down the universe and examine space, yet at the day's end, our bleeding-edge advancement is extremely confined. We can't imitate the tremendous explosion or peer back at the genuine event. Our best piece of evidence comes from the immense microwave background, which has allowed researchers to see the reverberation of the colossal impact. While this instrument is weighty in the assessment of the universe, it is also speculatively confined. So, while our total history lays on hypothetical models, genuine hypotheses have a tremendous degree to be undermined. We are almost certain about the gigantic explosion as the start of our universe. Still, there are some repercussions. We have misinterpreted hypotheses about our universe. They are all around laid out on information prone to human botch. A piece of our records is also significantly definitive about the enormous bang. Defaming the speculation is inconvenient, as the theory is that our universe is still broadening. Our foremost gadget in investigating the gigantic blast has been the Hubble Space Telescope, and by now, everyone's attention is on the remarkable precision of the James Webb Space Telescope. Already, we used these powerful creative units. One of the most questioned subjects in vast examination was the universe's expansion. Assuming you look at course readings from the mid-1990s, you'd find discussions about how the universe is stretching out. While the universe is expanding, we couldn't totally fathom what the expansion of the universe includes. The James Webb Space Telescope has brought us new revelations that propose the universe has stopped broadening. This continuous day event implies that our appreciation of the universe's way could need to change. Currently, continuing jumping into the repercussions of this notable development from our universe's course, we should look at our impression of this confounding eccentricity. No matter what the limitless utilization of the terms of effect and advancement, the creation of the universe wasn't exactly there. Researchers acknowledged that our appreciation of the universe should evolve. As demonstrated by NASA, the universe didn't wander into space, as there was no such thing as space ahead of time. Rather, it's more intelligent to consider the huge explosion as the simultaneous appearance of room. Anywhere inside the universe, our discernment uncovers that our universe has experienced areas of stability for a period, resisting the course of action of room. At first, the universe was totally dull and swoon until loads of gas transformed into stars and galaxies. Truly, at that time did the universe rise out of its cosmic faint ages. Here's a bit sporadic truth. Our nearby planetary system appeared 9 billion years after the immense blast. Space has been stretching out over the long haul, containing matter with its dynamic advancement. To put it certainly, the universe isn't stretching out in the way in which we envision or grasp. 
The dynamic stretching out of space goes beyond the expansion of the universe to the extent that we may be concerned. Regardless of the reality that fathoming it is tangled, it is crucial to handle the aftereffects of what we will get a handle on. For this video, we'll continue using the term advancement of the universe to recommend the powerful addition of our space. Basically, in light of the fact that even analysts utilize the framing to portray the new revelation made by the James Webb Space Telescope. The revelation that the universe has stopped developing is both amazing and conflicting with our past theoretical sorting out. Researchers were convinced that the universe was extending at an accelerated rate since its beginning stage. They had gathered enormous evidence using the Hubble Space Telescope, so this isn't NASA reconsidering its past seeing. Rather, it is an absolutely new event that is legitimate and irreversible. While the revelation is basic, it isn't exorbitantly unexpected. Talking about gravity, our universe was persistently disposed to a recollapse if it had a sizable measure of energy density. The expansion would stop absolutely, and our universe could go in reverse. To dive into this, we start with dark energy, which gets back to the 1990s. NASA and its experts had a couple of unequivocal contemplations concerning the universe's improvement, with gravity being the principal unit. However, the speed of the universe's improvement should have moved back after some time. Observational data showed the reverse in 1998. The Hubble Space Telescope uncovered that the universe was stretching out at an accelerating rate. This was in resistance to what was at that point known, illustrating that gravity alone couldn't seem to be legit of the faster speed increment. Analysts proposed dark energy as the force causing the speed expansion. In spite of the way that we have scarcely any understanding into it, dark energy makes up an enormous piece of our universe, while ordinary matter simply includes around 5%. Given the presence of dark energy, why has our universe stopped expanding? Specialists are at this point learning about this quirk. Assuming we look at the duel between gravity and dark energy, one likelihood is that gravity is by and by overwhelming dark energy, stopping the universe's advancement. On the other hand, gravity could have started decreasing the effects of dark energy. All of a sudden, we want huge observation and speculative verification to legitimize changes in how gravity works together with the universe. A couple of researchers, like Brian Cox, have contemplated the completion of the universe. As demonstrated by Cox, the end may come in dark lack of definition. As the universe contracts, it would take around 6 billion years for this to happen, and we might see the sun cool off and the universe break down into a single dark hole. In cosmology, one significant subject is the universe's conclusive future, which integrates the possibility of the colossal crunch. This event happens when the universe's thickness is sufficient to stop its expansion and begin contracting. If gravity turns out to be amazingly strong, it could cut through the texture of space-time, making the universe collapse onto itself. As the universe gets the infinite frameworks, stars and planets will draw nearer together, eventually prompting a situation where all matter joins into a singular, boundlessly thick point, like the state before the huge explosion. This speculation, known as the enormous crunch, recommends that the universe's development will not continue perpetually. All things being equal, it will switch, coming full circle in an inestimable breakdown. However, ever this remains hypothetical, and progressing perceptions and information from instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope will be fundamental in refining our seeing. No matter what the upsetting ramifications of these speculations, they highlight the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the universe. Our information on the universe is continually developing, driven by innovative headways and new disclosures. As we continue to investigate and study the universe, we could reveal more about the major forces shaping our universe and its definitive destiny. While the probability that the universe has stopped growing is both disturbing and progressive, it is an indication of the tremendous inquiries by the way we may interpret the universe. The trade among gravity and dark energy remains one of the most unmistakable mysteries in present-day space science. As we gather more information and refine our hypotheses, we move nearer to unwinding the mysterious nature of our universe and its critical suggestions for the future. The universe's future remains one of the most profound and intriguing areas of inquiry in modern cosmology. Our understanding of the universe's expansion, its potential for future contraction, and the enigmatic nature of dark energy all contribute to a broader picture of cosmic evolution.
As we delve deeper into these mysteries, we confront fundamental questions about the universe's destiny and the forces driving its evolution. Dark energy and its implications. Dark energy, which constitutes approximately 68% of the universe, is a particularly elusive component. Its discovery has significantly altered our understanding of cosmic expansion. Initially, it was hypothesized that gravity, which attracts matter and slows down expansion, would eventually halt or even reverse the universe's growth. However, observations from the Hubble Space Telescope and other instruments have revealed that the expansion of the universe is accelerating, a phenomenon attributed to dark energy. Dark energy's nature remains largely speculative. Various theories suggest that it might be a property of space itself or a form of energy inherent to the fabric of the universe. Its effects challenge our understanding of gravity and space-time, prompting scientists to explore its implications further. Understanding dark energy is crucial for predicting the long-term fate of the universe. The Big Crunch Hypothesis The Big Crunch theory posits that the universe could eventually collapse under its own gravity. According to this hypothesis, if the density of the universe is high enough, gravitational forces will overcome the expansion driven by dark energy. This could lead to a dramatic reversal of cosmic expansion, culminating in a collapse where all matter and energy converge into a singularity. The idea is that this singularity would mirror the conditions of the universe at the Big Bang. Although the Big Crunch is a fascinating possibility, current observations suggest that the universe's expansion is accelerating, not slowing down. This acceleration makes the Big Crunch scenario less likely, at least in the immediate future. However, it remains a topic of theoretical interest and debate. Alternative Theories and Models Several alternative theories have emerged to explain the universe's fate. For instance, some models propose a big freeze, where the universe continues to expand at an accelerating rate, leading to a state of heat death where stars burn out, galaxies drift apart, and the universe becomes a cold, dark place. Another possibility is the Big Rip, where the accelerated expansion tears apart galaxies, stars, and even atomic structures, leading to a catastrophic end. These theories reflect the complexity and uncertainty surrounding the ultimate fate of the universe. Each theory depends on various factors, including the properties of dark energy, the total density of the universe, and the behavior of fundamental forces over cosmic time. Future Observations and Discoveries The James Webb Space Telescope and other advanced observational tools are instrumental in refining our understanding of the universe. They provide critical data on the universe's rate of expansion, the distribution of dark matter, and the properties of dark energy. As these instruments continue to collect and analyze data, they will help us test existing theories and potentially discover new phenomena. Future research will also focus on understanding the interplay between dark energy and gravity. This includes exploring how dark energy influences cosmic structures and testing theories of modified gravity. These investigations are essential for developing a comprehensive picture of the universe's dynamics and future. Conclusion The study of the universe's expansion and its ultimate fate is a dynamic and evolving field. The interplay between dark energy, gravity, and cosmic expansion raises fundamental questions about the nature of reality and the future of our universe. As we advance our observational capabilities and theoretical models, we edge closer to unraveling these cosmic mysteries. The quest to understand the universe is not just about seeking answers, but also about appreciating the profound beauty and complexity of the cosmos. As we continue to explore these frontiers, we are reminded of the vastness of our ignorance and the potential for new discoveries that could reshape our understanding of the universe. Each breakthrough, each new piece of data, brings us closer to comprehending the grand tapestry of existence and our place within it.